What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're doing a brief introduction into the world of spread triads. So let's go. Cool. So for today's video, we have a fun one. Like the title mentions, today's video is a brief introduction into the world of spread triads. Or if we want to use the title from my outline that I have next to me, Tomo Fujita inspired triads practice. <laughs> a title that by itself doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm hoping this video does. Now, the context for today's video is that this past weekend, Tomo uploaded a very cool video on his YouTube channel. A video that, to me, again reiterated the point that you can never learn enough about the foundations, right? Or the fundamentals. That being triads, a topic that you guys know I preach a lot on this channel. And said video had a title along the lines of diatonic chords in the key of F major using spread triads. Right, so him playing the seven chords in F major, but approaching them with spread triads. And that demonstration looked like this. Check it out. That's pretty hard, you know, especially, you know, for myself, I'm not working on spread triads every single day. I know how to use them, but they're not in my daily routine. And I saw that video and instantly learned it and I posted it on Instagram. But that got me thinking, how can one, if not super into spread triads, how can we get with the knowledge that we already know about triads on the instrument, which I guess brings us to today's video. What steps can we take to get there? First thing we have to understand is our key signature. Since we're in the key of F major, we only have one flat, right? That's B flat. Our notes being F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. The next topic we have to know is what are our chords in the key of F major? Those being F major, G minor, A minor, flat major, C major, D minor, E diminished, back to F major. Right. And those are our seven chords in the key of F. So now, how can we practice that with triad? Like a lot of things on this channel, let's break it down into its smallest form, you know? So let's only focus on triads on the top three strings. And we're gonna play the diatonic chords in F major. And that will look something like this. F major, G minor, A minor, B flat major, C major, D minor, E diminished, back to F major. You feel comfortable on top three strings? Now let's go to strings two, three, four. Same thing. Mm -hmm. 
You feel comfortable there? All right, strings three, four, five, right? You feel comfortable there? <laughs> then go to set uh, strings four, five, six. So even there, you know, on each string set, strings one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, and four, five, six, we played the diatonic chords in the key of F major, right? So I would say get a good grip on that first, right? Playing that up the fingerboard. The next thing I would suggest doing is now practicing up, or I guess maybe across, the fingerboard. And now you're gonna start introducing different inversions, right, of these chords. So for example, it will look something like this. F major, G minor, A minor, B flat major, C major, D minor, E diminished, F major. And now, after practicing, you have a thorough knowledge of the diatonic chords in F major, up and down, or maybe this would be a cross. <laughs> That's the confusing part. As well as this way, maybe up and down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bonus points if you want to take it from a different starting point, because essentially for these past two examples, I've been starting at my lowest voicing. Right, if you want, you can start from here now. F major, G minor, A minor, B flat, C, D, E, F. Right, and then so on and so forth. F, G minor, A minor, B flat, C, D, um, E, F, you know. Doing that stuff again will just take your knowledge just a bit higher and your, I guess your ability to play these and to know these and understand these really well, just to the next level. So now, how can we approach the spread triads? First thing we have to observe is how can we construct them? And the benefit of, I guess, Tomo's video was that he was starting these chords all from root position, right? Meaning the lowest note is the root of the chord. And so I guess if we're looking at F major, we would have those would be our voicings. Root position, root, five, three, first inversion, three, root, five, Second inversion, five, three, root, back to root position, root, five, three. And to make that same thing minor, but now let's say G minor going up the uh, diatonic chords. We're just flattening the third degree, right? G, D, B flat. Root, five, three, three, root, five, five, three, root, root, five. so forth. A minor, B 
flat major, C major, D minor, E diminished, back to F major. Pretty cool, hey? Like, this isn't really how you describe it. It's not really a freestyle guitar move. It's just you digging deeper into how can we approach the diatonic chords in a key, but using spread triads, as opposed to doing, you know, like in, before in the previous scene, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Now spread triads. Just another way to approach a topic we already know. And I guess the point of all this is just to keep practicing the fundamentals. You can never learn enough about that, right? The more small details you know, maybe the bigger the impact will have on your overall skill and understanding of the instrument. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, our brief deep dive into the world of spread triads, highly inspired by Tomo's video that he posted this past weekend. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.